next guest is an Emmy award-winning journalist with an impressive resume of achievements as an anchor for ABC News Live Prime and World News Tonight on Sunday. She's also a correspondent for GMA 2020 and Nightline. Basically, she works 24-7. Yes. Lindsay Davis has vast experience covering stories that matter, but somehow she's found time to write beautiful books, a best-selling children's author, and I love them. It's on the shelf of our home, and Moses loves her book. I definitely noticed recently that children's books are speaking to children in an honest and, and more emotional way, which is a huge trend I am here for. And Lindsay's latest book, How High is Heaven, is helping our little ones when it comes to tackling the difficult topics of loss. Please welcome Lindsay Davis to the show. Thank you. Um, can I just tell you, this is the type of book you sit down with your child and you cry because it's so mm. beautiful. Oh, it is so beautiful you. and it's so sensitive and so in the zeitgeist of what people are obsessed with, which is quality content for our kids. As a mom, I'm reading these books to my son, you know, and so I know as a parent what you want to kind of pour into your child. And this came organically from a conversation. My son came home from a school one day a few years ago and he said, how come my friend has two grandmas and two grandpas and I only have one of each? Mm -hmm. And so I talked about Grandma P, my husband's mother who passed away when my son was about one year old. And I said, look, you know, you don't remember Grandma P, but now she's in this place called heaven. And so he said, well, I want to see her. So I said, OK, I started showing him pictures. And then he said, no, I want to go to heaven to see her. And he kept for several days and several weeks. Fast forward, we were on a plane several months later, and he was looking out of the window, and he just said, I don't see her. And I said, you don't see who? And he said, I thought while we were up here in heaven, we were going to see Grandma P. And that was oh. the moment, Tamara, when I felt like, OK, this conversation that we're having, this experience, this curiosity he has, this is a book. So now you have me in full tears. Oh. But these are tears of happiness mm -hmm. because it these are not the conversations we want to have. Mm -hmm. Right. And you know, this little guy in this, it's like, it's not about how far you travel or not just the things that you do. It's all about faith and the grace of God. Mm. I love how authentic your books are, mm. even to faith, right? We all have different beliefs, and this is not about converting, but it is about meeting people where they are. And for so many their faith is where they are. You know, I think there's such a, a literally a separation of church and state when you're a journalist, yeah. right? And But when I'm at home and talking to my son, we are a faith-based family and yeah. a spiritual family. And so that felt just natural to be a part of, of the theme kind of of the books that, yeah. that I do. And especially as you talk about, you know, death, this is something that increasingly we've mm -hmm. been talking about, obviously with COVID in the past two years, when you've had more than 900,000 people who've mm -hmm died in this country as a result. And one in four of those were primary caregivers. Yeah, yeah. So you have these young kids, the youngest among us, who are thinking, where is mom and dad and grandma and grandpa who used to be here with me every day? And, and how do you have those conversations? Yeah, you accept it, you understand it, but on their level and in a way that helps parents sure. with something. Because again, the best part of the journey of being a parent is advice that I've heard and received from moms like you, from even the Tan fam. And so the best of what I am as a mom is because of content like this. So thank you so much. Congratulations on this. The illustrations thank are you. beautiful. Yes, Lucy Fleming, she did a great job. Oh my job. gosh, and Lindsay's children's book, How High is Heaven, is out now. Lindsay, thank you so thank much you. for bringing something thank that we you. love to the table. We're obsessed <laughs> with it. Thank you to all of our guests. Keep the conversation going. What are you obsessed with? Share it with the TFM on our Facebook page. Check out Lindsay's adorable book. We'll see you next time.